Here comes my torture machine. Can I finish? Not yet. Can you give me two more minutes, please? A little more? Yep. Okay. Okay, thank you. Shook it up. Um, hey guys, so today I'm going to review a foundation for you all and it's the MAC um, Studio Sculpt with SPF 15 foundation and it comes in a tube like this and it's actually, um, it looks like the tinted moisturizer tube but it's not, it's a foundation and I've been using it for two months now every single day except for like Sundays because I really don't, don't do anything on Sunday so I don't wear makeup and um, basically let me get started I'm going to say the bad things first because you know you always want to hear the bad news about it first <clears throat> Um, the first bad thing I have to say about this foundation is that you have to let it dry before you actually set it. Like, if this is the type of foundation, well, at least in my face, um, this is the type of foundation that when you wear, um, when you put it on, when you apply it the first time, you have to let it dry before you do anything else to your face because you can literally just take it off like that. Like, you can literally just take your finger and swipe it off. So I think that's the bad, the worst thing about this foundation is that it's so moist in your face that... You have to let it dry. If you don't let it dry, it will just come over in like two seconds. So what I like to do is when I apply this foundation, I just first apply my concealer. And then I apply the foundation and I just sit around and let it dry. I like do my eyebrows, get on my phone or whatever. But let it dry before you actually set it. Then I also recommend setting it with like a loose powder or... um a just a powder that you have because setting it is important and because if you don't you are gonna leave your face on somebody with a white shirt on and you don't want that because that's just like total embarrassment um yeah i think that's one of the bad things the second bad thing about it is that it comes in a so small bottle like i wish there was more because i really really like this foundation i wish it was a bigger bottle with like pumps or something because this little tube has lasted me a while but you know, you don't want to be buying foundation every other day because it's just annoying. Another bad thing that I have to say about this foundation, which is not really bad, it's actually like a bad thing leading to a good thing. It's just a good thing gone bad. Is that it, since it lasts all day on your face, literally this foundation will stay on your face the whole day. Um, when you try to take it off at night, you literally waste the whole bottle of cleanser that you have trying to take it off. Because it does not come off. Like, it's such a pain in the ass. Gosh. The good thing about this foundation, like I mentioned, it does not um, come off quick. It stays on your face the whole day. Also, this foundation has great, great coverage. I don't know, like, I've, I've tried so many. Like, if I show you my foundation collection, you're going to be like, what the hell? You have issues. You have problems. Like, I am picky with my eyebrows. And if I am going to wear foundation, it has to be something that is completely unnoticeable and that it just blends with my face. Another um, good thing about this foundation is that it's not that type of foundation that you have to blend down to your like neck, down to your boobs and your belly button so that it, you can see no difference between your face and your neck and your other parts of your body. This foundation, I literally just take it to like the side of my, my, my jaw and if I might go down a little bit but it's not the type of foundation that you have to bring it down like here because I'm telling you guys. Um, I have tried probably 15 different foundations on my face and I have always, one time I had this foundation that I literally had to just like, what the hell? Like I brought it down to my ears and everything. I'm like, this is, this is just not, this is, this, this is just not right. This is just not cool. But then I found this foundation and I noticed that you don't have to take it down all the way to your neck so it won't mess up your shirt or your scarves or whatever. So I really like this about, um, I really like that about this foundation. It's awesome. And the SPF 15 is always a plus. Like you should always wear SPF on your face. My, my moisturizer has SPF and my foundation and I just dropped it. Um, and my foundation has SPF, so that's also a good thing. Um, I guess that's all I have to say about this foundation. I recommend you get it um, if you haven't tried it yet. At the end, just finish the rest of your face and you're ready to go. Shook it up.